some ways this project may sound like a fairly stereotypical brief, but we find that the brief develops from what was a plain and simple list into this multi-faceted iterative process. I'm Kirsty, this is Adam, and we are the directors of Cab Architects. And we're sitting in the Golden Elm House that we designed alterations and additions to. This project is located in the Adelaide foothills and uh, the foothills are a real asset to Adelaide and there are many sites like this with a great aspect and view across the plains to the Gulf. Yeah, the house is in Beaumont, a suburb of those foothills. The house itself sits on a hill facing north uh, and the house is cut in some part into the slope. Our clients for this project, James and Sarit, had a young family, three kids, and growing needs and demands from their house. James and Sarit came to us with a conundrum, and that was that they loved their house, but they knew it wasn't going to suit their needs as their kids grew up. Uh, so they needed extra bedrooms, an extra bathroom, and connect the living spaces to the backyard. And we were going to try and do this without making the house a lot bigger and without consuming the garden, if possible. Hi, I'm James. And I'm Sarit, and we're the owners of Golden Elm House. So in 2015, we bought this old 50s house and we knew we wanted to renovate it because we loved it. So we looked around at different architects and then we met Cab through a friend. We wanted to use an architect because we wanted something unique. We didn't want just a run-of-the-mill kit home. We wanted something with a really good design, but also really nice finishes. And it's also because my parents used an architect when I was younger, so I was fairly comfortable with the idea of using an architect. So before we started the project, we didn't have any specific requirements, just some general ideas. I think probably the main one was just a bit more flow through from the back to the front. Apart from that, we basically just wanted a bigger house. While the client's brief for this house was to have more bedrooms, a uh, typical response would have been to carve up the original house and close it off and make more rooms and extend new living areas in the back garden. In our experience, this creates a long, dark corridor and this project is unique in doing something slightly different in that it actually keeps all the living areas in the original house but extends the kids' bedrooms into the backyard instead. In a sense, the extension fit perfectly with the client's brief. They wanted to really engage the house with the garden and the children loved playing under the golden elm tree. So in many ways, the kind of perfect solution to retaining the existing but creating more bedrooms was to extend those bedrooms and make almost like this large cubby house in the garden. As a practice, we're really interested in how houses shape family well-being. And so design intent with the children's wing and how it operates is all around this issue. So while there are opportunities for people to have individual space, there is real kind of hubs set up in the house where the family will always cross over and connect to the outside. One of our challenges was how were we going to introduce new architectural elements into the house without turning our back on the wonderful qualities of the existing house. The materials of the original house had so much texture and interest. There's mosaic tiles and sandstone and there's nice steel detailing uh, with a lot of great qualities. So we chose new materials in the extension, not as a stark contrast to this, but often as a bit of a nod to it. However, uh, as you move through to the extension, there's not a jarring change in materials. It's a move to slightly subtler, more honest and robust materials that are particularly suited to kids. We are really happy with what Kirsty and Adam have achieved and we're also really proud that we've kept this beautiful old house. So yeah, the whole process for us was really good. We were really involved with the design of the house and the communication with Kirsty was great. If we had any queries, we'd just email her and she'd get back to us almost immediately. Our working relationship with James and Sarit has been going for about three years now and through that time we've maintained and developed a really solid and lasting relationship. 
My favourite part, I think, is the element that hold all the parts together, which is this batten screen that uh, sets up a frame for that backyard and the golden elm tree. In terms of a favourite space, I probably have to stick with one that we didn't create. It was here already and it's under the golden elm. It's amazing out there. I'm just proud that we came up with a design that could celebrate that and frame it and recognise it. Thank you.